Welcome to a new studio vlog, my loves. Today is Wednesday, I think the 26th. It is the 26th and it's 11 11. Put up the studio vlog last night, and to be honest, I'll be honest with you, I wasn't overly happy with it because I just didn't feel like myself when I did the vlog this week or last week. Um, and I think at the moment, honestly, I'm I just feel so lost within this business it's really quiet and I know it is for a lot of people I see it online like I see it with my friends that are in business I see it I see it with vlog vlogs that I watch on YouTube like this one and everybody is feeling the same but I am determined not to lose this business and I will try everything to make sure that I can keep it going but all I want to say is before we get cracking in this vlog is I'm going to try I think I just got to do like a, a really big push and what I really need is a new fresh customer base. My customers are fiercely loyal and you're probably one of them. My customers are fiercely loyal. When I release new things, they tend to shop the new things and that is like the best thing that a brand could wish for. Where I then struggle is because if I had a start to the year like I've had this year, I've not released new things. So they don't, unless they run out of pages in a notebook and they want to buy a different one, I don't have things that they may want at this particular moment because obviously stationery is a, um, a luxury item so I get it so I obviously go through stages where I can release a lot more collections and sometimes I can't and at the moment as you would have seen in the last video I'm looking at doing these little guys um, all of the different varieties of prints that I'm offering what I need to do I need to ask you a favor actually I need to ask if you guys who follow me on Instagram can potentially share one of my images of my products or just see if you can kind of like pop it on your stories maybe and if you if you use one of my notebooks or planner pads or to-do lists just share it on stories share it with your friends you don't have to say like loads of stuff like really quickly and just say oh you know I love this notebook from Leafly Studio or whatever because I know the products that I make are good quality they're such good quality I know that they hold up I know that I really support what I do what I need is my audience to expand. That is going to be crucial for, for this business to remain in the world. And what that means is I need to get it on more, in more people's radar. So if you do have time to share an Instagram story of an item you may own for me, or just share one of my, my posts from my grid, and tag me in it, always tag me, that would be great because then I can show you and we can share the love back and forth. But that would be really helpful and to help myself from that respect, I am also going to try, this is a big thing for me, I'm going to try and, and research this week. Remember last week I said, yes, in last week's vlog I said I'm going to set myself a goal to do within the week of me filming the vlog. This week's goal is going to be looking at and researching micro influencers so micro influencers ones with like a lower amount of followers but are very defined to my audience so I'm gonna have a really good look I have one or two in mind um, obviously working with them varies I've done quite a lot of research in the last sort of few days but working with micro influencers varies some of them will be gifted products some of them will be gifted and paid but the payment is obviously nowhere near as big as it would be if you're working with like a really really huge but I don't need to do that I, I want to expand I don't want to just have a load of people just come to my Instagram on one day or come to my website on one day and then never go back I want to make sure that when I work with someone it is someone who genuinely follows the same kind of ideal customer as I do so my ideal customer she is usually someone who either likes a holiday in the countryside, likes a slightly more kind of like nature involved life, who would read magazines like Country Living, gardening magazines, maybe maybe read, like I read Red Magazine, my idol customer is very much me, um, he's really into being out and walking and admiring the nature and likes to journal and likes to read and likes to self explore and self reflect and to just have memories around her like for example I could pull out a whole load of these I have a whole stack of them down here like old notebooks full of ideas full of creative thoughts full of 
things that you want to do in the world. My ideal customer will have a notebook or a journal on her desk and she'll be jotting things down for like business ideas and holiday ideas, family ideas, things that she's seen and wants to do and tears things out of magazines and plans things and my stationery fits into her life that way because it's used for planning and it's used for exploring and inventing new things, a holiday in places like Cornwall, Devon, somewhere quieter by the sea, they like to go on trail hikes, they like to sit and look out at the ocean and then come home and get a cup of tea and sit and write about it in a journal um, and draw inspiration from the natural habitat that we live in and appreciate it as well and understand that it needs looking after. That is my ideal customer. So I have a couple of people in mind that I'm going to reach out to, but I'm going to research it this week. I'm going to write it in my diary as a goal. And hopefully by the end of this vlog, I would have hopefully maybe reached out to someone or I'll still be like in the, oh, the very late stages of research. That's the plan. If any of you guys know of anyone that you think, if you're in that world and either you think you'll be an ideal candidate, candidate well, you think you know anyone who will be, let me know. Um, reach out to me on Instagram via DM. Don't pop it in the comments here. Um, make sure it's like a private message to me. I'll be really keen to hear from you. Okay, first things first this morning, I need to pack two orders um, and then I am going to do some drawing on the iPad and finish up. I'm working on some Father's Day cards. I really need to get sorted out because I want to get them up on Thoughtful. And I also want to make sure that they're okay and printed off. Then I really want to get cracking on finishing the prints that are in existence already before I start working on others that I've got in my mind to do because I want to release all of this stuff in May. So orders first and then we'll draw together. This person has ordered some really lovely stuff so I thought I would share with you what is going into this order. Um, it's a very matchy matchy order. Let me put you somewhere else. My office seems to be so dark at the moment. Um, I don't know whether I need to have a little move around because from a lighting vlogging point of view it is not the one. Okay so this order has one of my yellow botanical um, floral botanicals bookmarks it's got a beautiful bright yellow back and then the pattern that I love so much I'm still not bored of this pattern and I love the yellow tassel I just this pattern for me is like I don't know what it is about it and um, now that I'm doing my surface pattern workshop um, and course you guys will have seen that a couple of vlogs back I will share more of that with you but because of everything that happened recently I haven't been up to date on all of my learning with that and I need to do a lot of catching up with that but I'm going to be doing some kind of more grown-up patterns that I would love to get onto furnishings and things or like, you know, wallpapers and materials and things like that. But I also want to develop some children's patterns as well. And um, so this is one of the patterns. So this is my notebook. It's a bit scrappy, but you'll see on this pattern that there are some clouds and things in here. And I'd love to turn this into a more like make the clouds bigger, make some of the leaves a bit smaller um, and then turn this into a more kind of like maybe for child's clothing or wallpaper and then make the clouds all the same way up because on here they're scattered so they're kind of all different directions. Anyway, I digress. So this order has a lot of this stuff in it. So it's got the bookmark, it's got the matching washi tape which is one of my favourite washi tapes that I've ever created. I don't know whether I've, I've got one. I've got a box of these that I use, these are all mine, um, that I use for various different like wrapping things up and stuff. Um, so this it is Obviously you see the layer underneath because it's slightly transparent, but I love this one. It's just so bright and cheery and perfect for spring. Um, so there's one of those. And then there's the very last two of my sticky notes. I cannot believe how much you guys loved these sticky notes. Um, I do want to order some more. And these um, were part of my advent calendar two years ago and or a year and a half ago something like that and they've literally got a really simple illustration around the edge um i'd love to do some more of these because they sold so well i ordered the minimum order was quite high so i had to get enough for my calendars and then i got left with a load and i didn't know that they would sell um the way they do and i sell them in packs of two and there's 50 per watch <laughs> so you get 100 all together 
So they're lovely and they are super useful and I use them. I have them all over my desk, literally. They are everywhere. Um, and then to finish this order off, there's two of my chunky monkey. This is not what they're, that's not what they're called. Yellow floral chunky notebooks. There's 300 writable pages in these and I've shown you mine already, but I'll show you it again. It's got um, some beautiful lined paper in it and the paper of this notebook is so smooth and it's, I think it's a hundred, no, it's 90 GSM, but actually I think it's closer to a hundred in the way that it feels to me. Um, but I love this and it really stands up well to being like bent backwards so you can actually write in it. Um, because obviously they're quite, when you get a new notebook, they're quite difficult. They sort of open like that, don't they? You can't really write in them, but they do, if you bend spines, which I know, it, I mean, it's not a book, people, let's not get too precious. Bend the spine of it, it holds up really, really well under that pressure. Um, and I just love these. It just says notes on the front and on the back it's just got leaflandshudo.com. So you can remember where you got it from and get another one when you run out. So I'm going to pack this order now. I might just actually make a reel of me packing this order quickly because I always forget to do that and I need to get better at it. Thursday. This morning it's absolutely pouring with rain outside um, and I'm starting to wonder if spring is ever in fact going to arrive. Today's plan, I'm having one of, I'm having what I call, like to call a bit of a Lucy slash Monica moment because you guys might remember that I just recently changed my office around. <sighs> Please bear with me. I recently changed my office around because I put this extra underneath table thing in to put books and bits and pieces. This is the issue that I have. Oh, my battery's gonna go again. The issue that I have is that now I've got this massive printer on here, it's blocking so much light from this window. And because I use both sides of the printer, I kind of need to have it at an angle that's suitable and this isn't working for me. So I'm gonna have a think about moving, keeping this set up, but just moving it the other way around. So I've got the printer over there, but I don't have much in the way of plugs. So I have to really think it through, but I would like to be able to face some light so that when I talk to you guys, I can sit at my desk and talk to you. I don't know, I'm gonna to have to have a think. I always like to move things around and then I instantly hate it when I have moved things around. That's highly likely to happen.
Good morning. It is Saturday today. I am in my office just for an hour or so to do a few bits and bobs because the weather's quite nice outside right now and I really need to do some stuff in the garden. I am really, really tired today. I'm feeling all of the hormone feels today. I have got a million gazillion grey hairs that have turned up to the party this morning. Um, feeling all of the things. I just, yeah. Today's plan in the office, I have an order to pack for one of my lovely, 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 probably oldest customers um, called Kate. She was my first ever wedding stationery. Well, I did hand lettering for her wedding, like on a palette and bits and pieces, and she's just bought some stuff from me to give to someone else as a gift. So I'm gonna wrap that up in a minute. I wanna make that really nice for her. She supported me since the year dot. So it's lovely that she still orders from me. Um, and then, what I thought we could do together is um, I need to print some mocks off of some Father's Day cards that I have designed. And obviously, given everything that's been going on right now, Father's Day is a little bit for me. But I still have to do this despite losing my beautiful father-in-law. Um, this is still really important for my business. Um, and I still really enjoy doing it. And obviously, I have my dad as well. Um, although I have already bought him a Father's Day card. He doesn't watch these vlogs, so he won't know. Um, I bought him like the most epic birthday card ever. His birthday's in June, and I bought him a re a, what I think is a really funny card. <laughs> I don't know if he will. Um, but anyway, we'll, we'll follow that up later towards June, when I'll show you them. Um, okay, so yeah, I've designed some Father's Day cards. The reason I kind of have taken a step away from my prints, I put my print up here, by the way. Do you like my new background? I also have, um, got them all over the place today. Let me see if I can put them on. Um, some little lights for the evening. And I have a light next to me here and a light there. So yeah, let's turn this off. Um, yeah, so I put my print up here. And so although I've got to work towards a deadline of releasing those new prints, I need to get my Father's Day cards set because Father's Day is on June the 18th which is obviously over a month away, but the build up and the promo and also I want to get these cards lined up on Thoughtful today, ideally. Um, and obviously, well, not obviously to anyone else if you haven't done Thoughtful, but obviously to me, they take a long time to go through and they don't necessarily take all of your designs, but I want to get them lined up on there because potentially that's, it is a good way of making passive income Father's Day, Mother's Day. Um, so I also need to, over the weekend, think about my Curious Lemon Designs shop for Father's Day. You would have seen me packing up some Curious Lemon stuff yesterday. They're the things that I printed out um, in like experiments and that I like. And now I've got them in their own little container, which I got from B&M the other day. And I've also, you would have seen me doing this the other day as well, yesterday, printed out these little um, cards that I can write on that go in with orders. I'll show you the Father's Day cards I've done. Um, I might have to actually point you down at the iPad. This first one, I really like it, but um, let me just get this at a bit of an angle, one second. Let's use, I don't know if you guys remember in my last vlog, I was talking about my friend Zoe when we went to St. Q farm shop and she makes terrazzo. This is one of her dishes um, that she actually gave to me. Uh, she slipped it into my bag when I was at the market. It was the first day we met and I because I loved it and I love the multicolour. She also does these in like a really pretty shell design um, which I'll try and insert her Instagram or a picture of the shell ones here because they are beautiful and they not, I don't think they're waterproof, but they would be ideal for just like putting your glasses on or storing jewellery or putting like little vases on or something. The big round dishes. Anyway, I digress. Okay, so I really like this one. Um, I wanted something a little bit scandy, really, really simple. And actually now I've slept on it because I did this one, I finished this one last night. Um, now I've slept on it, I actually think I like it as it is. You can't see so much, but the background is is cream. You can't really see because it's not focusing on it, but oh, you can sort of see here, there's a white sort of shadow to the back of the letters. What I find with a lot of Mother's and Father's Day cards is that they can be a bit either really cheesy or, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, I know I have my dad's shed card, which I did the other year. I still have some of those left actually, I mustn't forget. See, this one was, uh, I did this one for my dad because he has a shed and that's sort of a card dedicated to my dad. But a lot of them are like, 
dads with beers and dads with football and dads in the garden like like that one really um so i wanted to make this little collection a little bit more simplistic for people who just want something that just says happy father's day or does something nice but without being too much so that's the first one and then the second one is this one and if you remember that i did those new cards that i'm going to release soon that have the gap around them I've gone with the same style for this because it kind of then links in with everything that I'm doing. So I've got like a creamy background here and then just Happy Father's Day. Everything's hand lettered. I haven't used fonts on these cards. I like that they're hand lettered and really simple. And it has got a few flowers on it, but just to break up the green really. Um, but again, really, really straightforward, quite simple. And if you just want something nice that's just Happy Father's Day without being too cheesy and to add your own words to, I think that'd be perfect. And this last one, I love. I think this is my favourite one. Um, I'll show you how it started. It started with this flower here and I might offer it on my website in all of the colourways that I've got it. Um, or maybe two colourways, I don't know. But it started like this and then I thought, oh I'm not sure, maybe I'll try a more neutral. I'm not sure about that one. Then I decided to try the blue but then I've already got that blue card but I kind of like the blue because it's very trendy at the moment, that blue. And then I've got the green. So I may offer it in blue, yellow and green. But I really like how simplistic it is. Again, it's a card with a gap around it. Um, so what I need to do with these, first of all, is to pull them onto my Google Drive. Get them onto Photoshop. And then for Thoughtful, they basically want things... I usually make things like... Uh, these are A4 documents. So I'll leave them as A4, adjust them. They want RGB, not CMYK. Um, and I think I've created these in RGB because I print RGB on my printer. So I will get those sorted out as a flat file like that first of all, upload those onto my thoughtful page for Leaflane Studio so that they're being assessed on there. Um, I won't be able to do all of the colourways so I'll have to make a decision for the colour. Um, then I will put them onto my card templates for me and print one of each off on the printer but yeah first of all I'm gonna pack Kate's order for her um, let me see what is in that order so in that order we have a slimline I'm writing I can reach everything now so she wants a slimline leaf lovers notebook um, I don't know if you guys have ever have you seen my slim, slimline ones this is in my cello so they're really handy actually for just, um, you know, if you are taking it to uni or college or school or work or whatever, and it's not too chunky and it could just be used for that one thing. Some people buy a few of these um, and use them for just like subjects in their business, like social media, product ideas or whatever. But they're quite handy for that and you can just like pop a little label on them. So one of those, a tear off notepad A6 one, one of these. Um, and then a washi tape. Um, Eden Project almost cleared me out of one of these. So that's like a really nice, oops, is it gonna focus? This is a really nice like matchy matchy or, uh, order. And what I'm gonna do is to put it, a little card in there for her with the message that she's left um, to go in there, wrap it up nice and get that all good to go. So we'll do that together, shall we? some cards up on Thoughtful now and now I am just putting them onto my card templates. So this one first um, and then what I'll do is I'm going to have some lunch, I'll print these out after lunch. I was going to go in the garden but look at the clouds out there. 
they look menacing don't they but we'll see it might not be the day to do the sealant on the shed but we'll see yeah so i'm going to do finish these up um and then i will print them out do a test print see if any brightening at all or contrast changes or level changes anything like that and and then they'll be good to go then i can focus again on my prints and things and then i need to decide a launch date for those so i'll just finish mocking up these are not mocking up creating the cards um in case anybody wonders i have this spreadsheet over on my google drive which i just called product sku numbers um so it's like just a stock number if it goes to any wholesalers then they can just tell me or order whatever the thing is um to be honest, most people if they order from me just tell me the name of what they want, but it just helps me to confirm it if I need to. Up to now I haven't ever really needed to do an awful lot with it, but um, that's just how I manage all of that. I have now made all of my cards into on the templates. Right now I'm just opening all, all the PDFs um, and I am going to start printing them out. So let's see what they come out like. Alright guys, I've now chopped these cards up and I thought I'd show you them. I'm pretty pleased with them. One of them I've slightly not aligned properly when I was cutting it, so I just have to be a bit more careful with it when I um, do them for real. But the first, for the first test prints actually, all the colours are good. So I've got, like I showed you earlier, three colourways of this Love You Dad card. Um, the yellow one is more like a mustardy yellow. Yellow is really, really, really difficult to print, especially when you're doing it from a home printer. Now, obviously this printer is an expensive printer, it's a really good printer, but yellow is really notoriously very difficult. When it prints out this mustardy colour, I actually really liked it. Um, it's still yellow, it's just a slightly more kind of mustardy yellow, but I love the simplicity of these cards. I've got the yellow one, and then I've got the green, I've got the green one, and then the blue one. So obviously they're all the same, but just different colourways. And yeah, I'm really happy with how, how they've come out. And then the other two, Oops, balancing act. The other two, this is the one that I cut a little bit too close to this side, but otherwise I'm really really happy with it. So yeah, I just need to not cut it quite so close. Um, I might have to edge it over in the print actually so that I've got a bit more room to play with, but otherwise super happy with how that came out. And then the one that I didn't expect to be my favourite is actually my favourite, which is the Scandi design. I really love it. I love the tones of blue. This blue is quite in tr on trend at the moment, um, which is why I used it. Not that dads care about trends, do they? I don't know. But anyway, so that's the, them. And then what I'll do probably is, I don't know when I'm going to release my other prints and stuff yet. So I'm going to work heavily on those in the coming few days. And then maybe I'll just launch my prints first, then the Father's Day cards. I'm not sure yet, but I, I've got them on Thoughtful, which was the big plan for this morning. It's now quarter to three and I need to go and do something in the garden. Happy Monday guys, today is bank holiday Monday. This morning I, in fact I might save this for the start of the next vlog because I'm going to shut this one down. I'm changing my morning routine a little bit because I'm not feeling my best self. I might save that, I think I will, I'll save it till the next one um, because this vlog is actually quite long anyway. I'm going to sit and eat my breakfast, um, today I've got Greek yogurt with a little bit of honey and some strawberry protein powder mixed in and some mixed nuts on top for nice healthy fats. I'm going to sit and do some journaling. Journal of choice is my wildflower, um, my little wildflower notebook, um, which I I love using for journals, these little notebooks. Um, so I'm going to keep this here right next to me now that I've moved the office around and I've got this little nook, let me show you. Um, I basically got some packaging here and I've also got um, all my notebooks and sketchbooks that I use on a regular basis and I've got my kind of 
little cards, um, oracle cards, angel cards, bits and bobs that I like to use there. So I can sit, do my journaling, eat my breakfast, also need to get some planning done for the week. Um, so I'm gonna do that too. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I went for a nice walk this morning as well. I went for a lovely walk this morning. I saw these beautiful poppies. I'll try and pop in a little clip, poppy in a little clip. <laughs> um, they were so gorgeous, they were growing wild um, on like the hedgerows, but also on the front of someone's garden as well. So whether they've been planted in someone's garden and have just like self-seeded, I don't know, but they were gorgeous. I've actually planted poppies in our garden too, so I cannot wait for them to come up. And also Cosmos, so I'm very excited about that. I'm gonna end this vlog here and I'm gonna sit and enjoy my coffee and my breakfast and um, get myself together for the day. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the stuff we went through in this week's vlog. Um, and I'm going to start vlogging immediately for the next one and there's lots and lots and lots of stuff to do so hopefully we can do those things together. Thank you so much for being here. Please, 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 if you're looking for any more stationery or any gifts or anything like that, head over to leaflanestudio.com. Everything is linked down below anyway. Um, check out my Curious Lemon Design shop and Sweary Cat shop and they're all on Etsy and if you're looking for kind of gifts and cards and things, please, please, please think about all of those things first, I would really appreciate it. And if you do um, have a moment to share a Leaf Lane Studio Instagram post or pop a story up about a product that you own that you really love that you've got from me and tag me into anything that you do, I'd really, really appreciate it. Oh, I mentioned at the beginning of this vlog, I think, that I was gonna look at influences and my goal for this week was to research influences. I've done that. I have a little bit more to do, but I have done that and I am looking to put together an email to reach out and I think I said at the beginning that I won't necessarily contact them in this vlog but I will research. That was the goal for this vlog and I will continue with a new goal for the next one. So bear with me but like I said at the beginning of this vlog if you do have anybody in mind that you think would be, I think I explained my ideal customer at the beginning of this vlog. If you have anybody in mind or you feel like you are my ideal customer and you have a following of up to like 10,000, 20,000 on Instagram and you feel like you could work with me like on a real basis as in like you are legitimately interested in what I do and would maybe want to work with me two or three times and put out content together then just reach out on Instagram, pop a DM over and we will have a chat but in the meantime Thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next one guys. Bye.